name's Brian Winner. I'm Chief Technical Officer of Athens Computers and Multimedia Enterprises, and one of the pieces of my job description is being a network architect. I've been in the IT field now for more than 25 years. For doing the job that I do, you need to have a background in mathematics and science, but believe it or not, industrial arts as well. We have to understand how things are built to be able to work with them. The majority of IT people have some formalized education, but much of it is actually learned in the field. And it almost works like an apprenticeship. You'll work with other IT people and see how they develop the networks. But you'll continue your education on the side constantly because with the technology changing all the time, you have to keep up with the most modern developments. So even though I haven't been in a school in more than 20 years, I still go to conferences on occasion, and at the same time, I'm always reading the latest tech articles so I know what's coming down the pipe, what I'm going to see tomorrow. So I can't focus too much on what used to happen. I try to put a lot of that out of my head. But this way, I can stay more focused on today and more importantly, tomorrow. All of our computing is based upon a binary choice set. Zero, one, yes, no. We've never been able to really figure out the third choice, which would be maybe. And that's where you'll make the breakthrough to artificial intelligence. With quantum computing, what you can do is actually store information on a much smaller level, more accurately. When you start to exploit some of the better known sections of physics, you can use certain things such as quantum entanglement to be able to change data over distance. So while my computer here, I change a piece of data using a quantum level network, I could change data on the other side of the galaxy at the same time. Most of your good IT people that do networking actually have an eye on these things. We're dealing with fiber optics, lasers, you know, virtualized systems, building computers in the computer itself so that it exists on nothing more than the chip level that doesn't exist in reality. Keep learning constantly. If you don't know, say you don't know and ask. Learn anything and everything you can get your hands on whether that is how to use a hammer or how to even say hello in another language. Keep learning. The more you know, the more you can do. And the more you can do, the more valuable you become.